charge, 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 and go! <laughs> yes! Okay, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I was saying about them being desperate. Hello everybody, I'm Redevil, welcome back to Age of Empires 4. Today, we will be completing our Chinese Mastery. The Masteries are, of course, the series of challenges you have for every faction. And the final Mastery requires you to defeat the hardest AI. So, in order to make this as easy as possible, we're going to cheese it a little bit. We will be facing, we're playing China obviously, we're playing uh, against the HRE. The Abbasids, the Mongols, and the Rus, I'm pretty sure, are the most aggressive factions the AI plays. Ironically, England, France, and HRE are actually kind of, are kind of, uh, apathetic. They're a bit lazy, uh, for the AI. They don't really rush you as quickly, which is strange, because, well, England and France. Um... So we're going to be doing HRE to make it easy for ourselves. We'll be playing on the Mountain Pass to sort of limit uh, our exposure to the AI, to uh, limit our flanks. And we're playing on the smallest possible map, uh, also to just, you know, limit um, the AI's ability to be aggressive. And in addition to that, we have ticked Wonder on. And we are basically just going to defend until we build our Wonder. We probably can achieve a Landmarks victory, but I want to show off the Wonders as well. So, we've got the AI, we've got the map, and we've got the uh, requirements, the win conditions. And that's our three steps to cheesing uh, mastery for every faction. This should work for every faction, but today we're doing China. So, away we go. Man, that was a fucking long intro. And they're off. Okay, so we're going to be doing our usual start. All six villages on food. We're going to queue up four. Uh, for wood. And then we're just going to be, uh, you know, surveying the map, getting sheep for our um, food production. And uh, this is basically the standard opening. Uh, this works pretty well in PvP. And um, we'll just build a mill. And it's basically a very, I mean, it, it, it's, it's the standard opening. It can go into any sort of uh, play style. If you want to be aggressive, this works. If you want to play defensive, it works. Um, I'm actually just gonna head back to base real quick and uh, turn in these sheep and then we're gonna sort of scout the map. There should only be one opening uh, on this uh, hillside, but we want to scout to see where the relics are because we're gonna need those later. And we're gonna want to scout the sacred sides and of course the marketplace. Because we're not playing as France, the markets don't appear on our map, which is something I fucking hate that they get because I'm jealous. All right, we've got three on wood. Now we go. Uh, we're gonna go three on gold, and then two more on food, and that should be how we do it. So with China, you can be quite aggressive with the uh, cavalry if you want, unless you're. Uh, I think I think cavalry is so effective in this game because pikes are so vaunt. They they have such low ranged armor that a couple of archers and you can just neuter any pikes, and. Um, yeah, it, it make, makes attacking with Cav really easy. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go our first dynasty. Which, if we click here, once we unlock the Song Dynasty, we can get the Zhuge Nu, which are the uh, crossbowmen that China gets. Or their alternate crossbowmen. And they have a high rate of fire, so they're great for uh, sort of hit and run. And that's actually pretty good for um, uh, finding the AI, because we're going to hit and run a lot. And that's three. Okay, so now we want two more. Okay, we queued up two more. And you were sitting there looking at your house. Fuck, I... We messed out on some wood already, but that's okay. That's not such a big deal. Um, but yeah, we're basically going to be using those guys. Uh, they do really bad armor damage. So it begs the question why we're doing it against HRE, but it'll work out. Because basically we're going to be we're going to be making so many that the AI, even with all their men at arms, it's not going to matter. And then we're just going to try and bottle ourselves in. We found two relics on the map. We're going to try and bottle ourselves in. This gap is a lot wider than I would have liked. It's a bit like my first girlfriend. Oh, anyway. um, But yeah, it's we'll just build a stone wall here and and defend. We've got a long way to go. And we this might blow up in our face. And we might get wrecked. But this should work. Okay, that little bedink means that we're good to go. Barbican of the Sun will just put it there. And you know what? Once you're done, we'll go there, and we'll kill up another villager. Okay, so once we age up, we'll make one more villager, and uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna do that because we want wheelbarrow. As soon as this hits 150 gold, you want to be researching wheelbarrow. That's another good tip. Uh, there's no market. It must be on this side. There should be six relics on the map. There should be three on each side. One there, one there. We haven't seen anything that's coming away. Okay, we got three building it. Yeah, we probably could do this faster, I guess. But it's not such a big deal if we don't. So yeah, we're going to be making a couple more villages, and then we're going to start putting all of, all of our food into Imperial Officers. We're going to get three Imperial Officers, and we can use them to boost our production. And the market has got to be in this corner somewhere. And it's also important to keep uh, keep track of these wolves when you're sending out your infantry. Yeah, okay, Bonkai got in the head. One more gold, or ten more gold, sorry, and we'll get wheelbarrows. Which improve carrying capacity of villages. All villages, so that's why it's so good. And there we go. And barbecue of the sun, baby doll. Here we go. Okay, we're also going to be getting some stone now. And uh, we'll make one more villager, put him on wood, and then we'll start making the... Uh, Imperial dudes. Okay, we have enough wood to make an archery range. And we'll just make it here. Okay, we found a sacred site. Market's down there. The third relic is there. So now... Well, what's a good place to scout? I guess we'll just put you in here. That, sound, that sounds good to me. I'm not sure what that bedank was. I think because I use a uh, Xbox game bar with this. That might be that. Okay, more food. We're going to make one archer and that's it. And we beat the hardest AI to the feudal age. That is good for us. That's actually okay. Alright, you. So now we want to be rushing out our dynasty, which means we need to effectively build our age up building again. And you know what, sheep? You can just sort of mosey in over there. And actually, we need to uh, build another house. Yeah, so basically what we want to be doing is we want to be building the Imperial Academy, um, which is another 400 and 200. So, while we're getting wood for our second town center, and stone also for our second town center, we're also going to be grinding up our food and gold. And then once we get that, we'll get our uh, reduced uh, villager production time. So we can just start spamming them out. And I don't like them all the- oh, okay, you might as well finish it, why the fuck not? Why the hell not? Okay, so the Imperial Collector, or the Tax Collector, whatever. Um, he can be gathering gold, but we don't really need it right now. We just want to use them to improve our gather rate. Five on wood. Okay, we need two more on that. And then uh, we'll make a couple more. Alright, it's going okay. I'm always a bit antsy. We got the timer on. We aged up fine. But now is when we're struggling. Because we do want that second TC, which is 400, 300. What a lot of players do is they'll build a market and they'll just buy the stone using gold, which works and is uh, is pretty clever. But since I actually want to be building a lot of stone walls, we're not going to be doing that. So we want to actually have people on stone. This is probably not ideal, but whatever. Okay, uh, where are we putting this? We should probably make a decision soon. Uh, we want it in range of the granary that we plan on building. Yeah, this probably isn't the best time to actually decide what we're doing, but hey, whatever. And we're just gonna bonk those guys. Okay, and, uh, one, two. We should probably get the wood upgrade. We need 175. That's so annoying. Yeah, we'll put a couple more in gold. And once we get this, we can start making our juge nu. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. I cannot speak uh, Chinese. Or whatever form of Chinese this is. I don't know. But I can't speak it. Yeah, right, we're just going to improve the time there. Also, once we get the get to the Song Dynasty, we get uh, villagers. Which increase our population by 40 and only cost 100 wood. So they are really good. And man, our gold is doing really badly. Didn't I tell you to go there? There we go. Okay, all of our, a lot of our food went into making another tax collector. We might need to head over here for our food. Okay. We've got a scout there, which the barbecue of the funds will mow down. Nope. Oh, we did get the shot in though. That was kind of cool. That was pretty that was pretty cool. Alright, um 175. Fuck it. We'll go for the gold upgrade first since we had more. 
Okay, so we need 400 wood and 300 stone. We're approaching that now. And then we'll be able to get our second TC. And thankfully, these guys use up a lot of resources, but they're actually low of each one. So it's actually not that bad. Alright, everyone on food. There we go. And you know what? Uh, nah, we'll be alright. Yeah, deposit that. And then we're good. Okay, let's just make a couple more of these. We're gonna have you force deposit and build a village. What's also great about these villages is they garrison 10 villages and then they can be used to... They're, they're basically... They're basically outposts or like defense towers that give you... Um, that give you population. Because they function as both. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Uh, I think I spent a lot of wood. Oh, it was on that, wasn't it? Okay, well, we're delayed a bit. And I've made some infantry. And wood is always the thing that I struggle on. So now we can just sort of power level to uh, age 3. And, uh, but I want to get that second town center before we do. And I do want to get the blacksmith as well, but that's 150 wood and I want that. Okay, we can get the town center now. Good. It's actually going pretty well now. And we've got six mana arms, okay. I would be bothered, but I'm not because that's how confident I am. Alright. We're just basically going to kite them into the uh, barbecue of the fun here. He's going to shoot it. We're just going to hide in here. And we're just going to slap them down. They do really poor armor damage. But it's okay, because that's okay. We want the archer to stay in there. I don't think it fires a cannon unless it's... Uh, oh. Nice. Okay, well, we killed their scout. And I don't know why that scout's going. So there we go. We survived the first, the early bouts. Um, you. We're just going to make a... Uh, just going to make that there. Alright, we need lots of gold because we need to age up. We need to get our monastery out. And we need to, need to start be able to getting uh, mana arms out. And the scout... You know, if they want to chase the scout, that's that's totally on them if they want to do that. That's totally fine if they want to do that. I am more than okay with that. Wow, mana arms, what are you doing? <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> what the hell are they doing? Okay, um, after he turns in, we're going to have him make one closer there. And we're just going to have them scout again. Yeah, just keep spamming these guys out. We're going to go for uh, steeled arrows, and then we'll go for fitted leather work. Because uh, we plan on making a lot of archers that will be exposed to melee combat. So we want improved damage on our archers, and then improved melee defense on our archers. That should, uh, that should allow them to live a little bit longer. Alright, so food. And you three, we'll put you on gold. We probably should have... I don't know, we probably should have... Uh, had enough gold by now. I think we're just gonna start making traders. And I'm actually... This is gonna be really awkward, but I'm actually gonna send two of these guys to kill some wolves. Because where I'm building that trader is... Full of wolves! Okay. Three. And then another three. That'll be fine. And that's a lot of guys. We actually need to be careful here. We have plenty of wood, though. So there's that. But we just need some more food. Okay, they're killing that. He's going to try and flank round. I'm going to pretend to care. Uh, here he comes. There. Oh, there's loads of them. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's right, just run. We'll hide him in there. That's right, just keep running. Just keep mowing him down. Low damage to armor, my sweet but too. Look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh no! Okay, they ran away from that, that's fine. And this village that I told you is basically just like a tower. Is doing really well. 
Oh no, that's a... How did he get control group one? Come on now. There we go. Technically they all bad to armor given that it's taken them this many to kill one guy, but better than nothing, I suppose. Alright, I still think there are plenty of wolves there, so we'll have to cover them in a sec. Alright, we need to stop building our stone walls. And we actually need a lot of food. This is kind of bad for us. Just do that. Is he actually going to retreat? You're not getting away from me, dude. Oh shit, that's a lot of knights. Oh god, okay, he's pissed, he's pissed, he's pissed. He's mega pissed. And we're low on food, I don't like this. We're low on food, so let's just spam, make some more food. Alright, this makes for an interesting game. Will you, will you just stay there, my guy? Okay, so he's flanking around there. Man, I think the walls are the most annoying thing in this fucking game. Okay, we're real. He's gonna age up before us. I just noticed how much gold we had. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a marketplace. Oh, we already have one. We're literally just gonna buy some food, because fuck this. Okay, there we go. We made it. Alright, we're gonna make astro uh, astronomical clock tower. Oh! Alright. We're gonna split them into two groups here. And then whichever group they chase, we're gonna hit the other one. Alright, easy. So now these guys can hit them while we're just sort of kiting them around. So a bit of micro, I'll be first to admit. And you were buffing nothing that whole time. I'm not sure what possessed the AI to sort of run around like an idiot like this, but whatever it is, I'm thankful for it. Okay, now these guys were on food, but we're actually just going to uh, start work on the stone walls. So we actually have to go in here now and kill all these guys. And they will see, they will see it, so I have to be careful. Alright, so the AI actually hit the castellage before me. That's not good. Although we were right behind them, so I guess it's okay now. And we have so much word. This hasn't been the most optimal run, I'll be first to admit. But it has been okay. And basically just hide. Okay. AI is really just putting me under so much stress here. And, uh... Okay, that should be okay. Once we get the stone wall up, we should be fine. Let's just build some barracks quickly. Oh, run this way. Let's upgrade that. You can see why these woods are so effective. Okay. And now we start making that. And now we'll start making our uh, monastery for that free gold. And we're just going to keep making berries. This has been far from optimal. This has actually been quite shoddy. Oh, I thought I clicked that. But it should be okay, because now we're going to start spamming some stuff out. Oh my god, can we actually finish this before they kill them? That'd be hilarious. Oh my god, one guy survived. Yes! Man, I love that. Alright, we should have probably built this stone wall a while ago. These guys are all now going to be making stone walls. We're getting 
getting pushed back a little here, but it's okay. Alright, I'll probably get that barracks now. Just need to kite a bit. And once there's a break in the action, we can actually, uh... Alright, he did retreat. He had the superior force there. I'm very surprised he retreated. Or whatever. Okay, we've got no one on stone, which is a bit annoying. Maybe he was just trying to lull me into a full sense of security there, because that's a lot of guys. And thank god I can build buildings fast. Thank god. Alright, we need that back up. Okay, now, to tend back to what we were doing. We need more stone, so you'll just go there. And this is probably the opposite of where you wanted to play this, but whatever. Alright, now to collect some relics before the AI does. This is- it's so much harder- like, I was pretty confident about this, but it is so much harder to sort of commentate over this. Um... So much harder to commentate over this, rather than to just play when you're focusing. And I, I, I attribute that to why this has been rather scarce, but it's okay now. Because now we just need to finish our stone wall? Although even the stone wall is kind of scuffed. So I'm not really sure. I guess we'll have to build it out there. Okay, this is literally the most scuffed thing ever. We'll build a gate right here then. And we just hope that guy doesn't get seen. Alright, so you have the relic? And the reason why you want to return these back is because they generate 100 gold a minute. 100 gold a minute. Which is why we wanted it. Okay, they seem they can't- Okay, it seems like they can't get past. Okay, maybe it's not so scuffed. Uh, we're gonna go with that, we'll go with that. Um, okay, wood is fine. Gold is fine, wood is fine. Oh, oh, they spotted him. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, build the very last village. Have it get in the goddamn way. Okay, and now with the rest of our stone, which we are still mining, thank god. We will make three stone towers. And then we can actually get on the uh, wall there. Okay, you should be doing that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, I don't realize- I don't remember queuing up this many guys, but whatever. Wait, were they gathering? No, they're just- okay, weird. Okay, this is kind of scuffed, but whatever. And no, I'm not looking at what I'm doing, but I'm sure the front line is- yeah, it's okay. Sending in his clerics. Yeah, it's fine. It's totally fine. And they're making that. You have that, so we'll head back there. Alright, we're gonna make some spring olds because they're dedicated anti-siege. In fact, they were probably the- if you ask anyone on Reddit, they were the bane of this game. And what did they do to respond to that? They literally made them stronger. It was kind of weird. They basically reduced the damage they do to infantry, but they increased the damage they do to everything else. Alright, we do have one nest of bees, which is our anti-infantry. And I just wanted a nice, neat wall. But this is the opposite! We're gonna have to redo this. Alright, um... Uh, we'll just literally build it here. And we're gonna get our next dynasty in. Because we want fire lances, so we'll just do... We'll just build it there, why not? And... 
There's our third relic. Woe is not me this day. Although woe is that gold mine because it's out already. And they're gathering stone. We've got plenty of traders. Sacred site captured. Okay, we've got two free builders. Let's finish up this goddamn wall, shall we? This is so scuffed. Look at look at this. Look how ugly this is. I just wanted like a nice straight line. And it's like, no, you're gonna have like rocks there and that there and that. It's just it looks fucking disgusting. Alright, uh let's keep upgrading. We'll go with that and that we'll just get all of them. We've actually been kind of bad. We've kind of been really inefficient with regards to uh, eco spending. Um, we were slow aging up, and we were slow, um, sort of just maximizing all of our resources. And we can just get all those out. And they're just gonna kill that, okay. Once the Imperial Palace is uh, done, we'll get the next dynasty, which we will then lose the ability to make these guys. But we will gain the... Will you... My shift is being really awkward. But we will... No, just shift it, man. Just shift it. There we go. But we will uh, gain the ability to make granaries. And here comes the AI. I'll pretend to cap. Alright, we're going to build a fort outside the walls here. We're in, there's no way we're building it inside. Is there a way for us to even get out of here? If I if I hit down here. Okay, we, we, we've achieved the next dynasty. Okay. We want that tax money. Okay, we can get out. And we're just going to build our keep right here. And fire. Alright, they've hit age 4, so we have to be really careful because they're ahead of us now. We could age up now, actually, if we wanted to. Okay, we're gonna age up. So you guys. Spirit way. And we'll just build it right there. Have fun. And I don't know... Oh god, he's got... Okay, we need to set those into their own command group. And I'll spring all... Oh, we took down a keep they were building. Okay. Okay, we need more stone deposits. And I just said we need to be sniping these. And that is why you make springles right there. There we go. I was a bit, I was a bit slow there, but that's okay. Uh, we've hit H4 now, buddy boy. There we go, that should be okay. We can get rid of this for our granary, which is just going to be all of our tax. And we need... Uh, wow, we are so low on wood. I didn't realize how low on wood we were. Alright, everyone goes on wood now. Everyone on wood. Mr. Tax Collector Man, you go there. And... Put you there. Alright, it's been a little bit more chaotic than I had hoped, but it's still being okay. We're going to get the improved range on these springholds. We're going to get both the upgrades there. That increases our uh, health on our thingies on our uh, palace guards and now we're gonna make our cav 
Okay, so we're in the fourth age, but we haven't got our dynasty. We need to build a Great Wall Gatehouse, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not too bothered about it this time. Uh, I'm not too bothered about it. I have two. Shouldn't I tell you to... Yeah, I thought I did that. Okay. But I'm not too bothered about it this time because I don't really need the dynasty. Instead, what I'm going to try and do now is save up resources for the wonder, which we need 3,000 of everything. And you will quickly build that. Alright, so we've actually... We've actually uh, held off the best that the AI has to offer. And we probably could do us a lot of damage now because his... Uh, his forces have been uh, cut down pretty well. But instead we're going to turtle. We're researching this extra materials which allows us to repair stone walls. Which allow fortresses and outposts to repair stone walls, which is actually kind of cool. Okay. You know, you re you seldom do you need word. But we're going for it anyway. Okay, now we can get the fire lances. We'll just get the upgrade. And we're going to be making hand cannoneers, which is all of our food and gold. And maybe we could bait them in by doing that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And I need to, I need to keep my sprinkled safe from harm. And they move so damn fast. It is kind of funny, honestly. Being in this dynasty, our units all have improved speed. Is it 15%? It is 15%. Which is kind of funny. Alright, uh, we'll get the cannon upgrade. We need more people on stone because we plan on building a lot of keeps. Whoa, I have eight people on stone. Why is this so bad? Bloody Nora. Okay. And then we'll just do that. Uh, we'll put you there and we'll make some food. Okay, you're inspecting that. You're inspecting that. You're collecting tax. No, you should be on the gold mine. There we go. Okay, now it is cavalry time. And you, you're going to build our secret back door into their base. So we need 3,000 of everything. And the only thing we're lacking, ironically enough, is food. And I say ironically because, uh... Well, I mean, usually we have loads of food. But this has been a real scuffed playthrough. I'll be the first to admit that. Five spring olds. Good luck getting through this, boy. Well, supposedly they did reduce the damage it takes, but that's okay. Oh, he's got a battering ram there. Oh, good thing my flame lances are that. We're gonna build quite a few of these bad boys. And I hate it when I go to select idle builders and it selects my fucking thing. Okay. I don't want it to select my Imperial officer, I want it to select something else. Alright, we're gonna be getting this upgrade, which allows us to imp gather faster, which I should have got immediately, but I'm playing quite badly, so that's that. Uh, Okay. We're gonna make three more flame lances. But Red Devil is not overkill. Not until you see what they can do, my friend. Not until you see. Okay, so we've got our archery rangers. We've got our men at arms. We've got you know what, I'm feeling lucky. We'll make double bombards. We've got this fucking tax collector that keeps annoying me. No. Oh wait, never mind. Shouldn't I told you to go over here? He's being so naughty. Alright, and then you... Fuck it, you go count something. You go do that. Um, we'll get that upgrade. He's... He, I wonder if the AI can build a wonder. That'd be kind of insane if they could do that. That would be very insane if they could do that. We haven't even got the third upgrade. Oh my god, I'm playing so badly. I don't need the third wood upgrade, so that's why I'm not going for it. With that. All right, they're almost done there. Okay, we need three thousand of everything. We could just use a marker to get them, but it's okay. Okay, we've got this. This is our ace in the hole. Our fire lances. Imperial palace can reveal all enemy villages. And fire lances attacking an AOE. 
And he's... Yeah, we seem to run into something, but I'm not that bothered. We'll use up all of our AoE shot. Okay, you know what? They do amazing building damage too, so... The Fire Lancers are a point of great contention. Can we go through the woods here? Is it safe? Oh my god, yes. Run, children. Run. The Chinese have come. And he was lucky that he moved them out, because that AoE... That AoE that they only get on their charge, by the way. Only on their charge. I was very lucky. Here, yeah, we'll just destroy that. Alright, we're close to 3,000 wood. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. But I love these Fire Lancers. Because they do amazing... Uh, they're basically weak to everything else. If you engage them in standard melee, they just die. They literally just get owned. But comboing it with the Imperial Palace... I think there's a reason why you get them in the same dynasty as the Imperial Palace. Um, it's just cool. Because, uh, particularly in PvP, any unsuspecting player will just immediately lose... Uh, will just immediately lose all their builders. Because their AoE is that strong. And uh, another part of the cheese here... Oh, we need to watch out. We're just going to destroy the tower. But another part of the cheese is that because it's on this map... And plantations aren't a thing anymore unless you're England. He will eventually run out of gold because the, the traders will not be. The traders will not be able to save him all the time. And I'll pretend to care about that keep as well. Alright. He had some villages here, didn't he? We're just gonna burn down everything he wants. Let's be careful of bombards that die. He's got seeds there, need to watch out for that. Oh! <gasps> yes! No, why didn't the charge go off? Are you kidding me? Get the charge, get the charge, get the charge, get the charge. Oh my god, look how many there are. No, give me the charge! Charge, 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 and go! Oh, <laughs> yes! Okay, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I was saying about them being desperate. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, I fucking love that. Oh, yes. That's so good. And I think I'm still talking about a video game. Just ignore me. Okay. Okay, kill his trader. Screw you, trader. Oh, he's got mangonels there. Okay, we have plenty of free builders. It's Wonder Time, which is the Enclave of the Emperor. Alright, we just had to defend this for 15 minutes. And then we are good to go. I think that's literally GG if we uh, if we do that. Uh, back to the university. We'll do that. Oh, I didn't get the range on the gunpowder. God, I am fucking terrible. Okay, ignore that. They can kill that. Yeah, anything that's made of wood, these boys will just destroy. And let's just run to our healers, which are back there. Wait. Did all of my... Oh, wow, the AI is just amazing at killing all your stuff. Okay. Uh, Imperial Palace ability? Where's the mother load? He's got plenty of knights. Ah, there's the, there's the mother load. They're all gathering wood. Okay. Okay, this is all going to be control group one. Okay. He's sending a lot of men at arms to me. Which you'd think they would be dying, but they're not, which is equally strange. And he's built another keep. Well, I could. I was about to say, I could, you know, attack it, but I don't want to cause it. Something tells me. I think when you build your wonder, the enemy automatically goes for your stuff. So, yeah. Like, that. Like basically the AI does like a last ditch effort. And there's our beautiful wonder. And it says right there, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, silent countdown, just at the Enterprise. Could you guys destroy him, please? Okay. He had plenty of knights. I'm waiting for his big charge. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This could be the great battle of our time. He's got plenty of bombards in there. Plenty of bombards. We need to snipe. We need to snipe his siege. 
Sniper Sage. I said Sniper Sage, there we go. And the front line all got, all got cut down. And holy god, I lost a lot of men there. And I'll be damned if I'm losing my flame lances. Screw that, man. Okay. Alright, we don't need any more stone. You're going to the front. And you're gonna like it. That was very close. Yeah, no one, no one gets left alive. He's building another battering ram. You know what? Screw you, punk. They can't actually fight back when they're building. Oh, now they can. Whoop. You know, I'm gonna have one monk right there so that they can heal on their way home. I think that's only fair. Hong Chong Ki! Okay, let's go, let's go. You go there. So this is the hardest AI, and it was a little scuffed in the beginning? And I promise that's not my favorite word, that was just the best word to describe it. Alright, now it's keep time, baby. I think that's a little too close to the base to really do it properly. And I want to see where their next mother load is. It's in the back there. Okay, we'll get him in the back. We'll destroy this, and then destroy that. Man, this is- it's just fun, dude. It's just fun. <laughs> this is just fun. We could be big, we could be building pagodas and getting way more resources, but we wouldn't get the 300 a minute. We'd get 50 a tick for our relics, which uh, I don't know. I prefer, I prefer getting more. Uh, Great Wall Gatehouse. I guess we could get the dynasty. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Okay, let's go. The mother load was right here. These fly, fly, fly lances. Fire lances are MVPs. And here they come again. Here they come again on their own. Holy shit, that's a lot of guys. We're in trouble. We're in so much trouble. Kill them! Bring him down! Spring bolts, please. Thank you. See, this is why people hate spring bolts, because they get a range upgrade. They cost a fraction of the money of everything else. Okay, you know what? We'll get some pikes, because my mana arms are just getting slaughtered. <laughs> They're getting slaughtered. Yeah, my poor palace guards. I've, t I've, I've asked them to make so many ungodly sacrifices. But yeah, as I was saying, they cost a fraction of the cost of, like, say, a bombard. And they could just snipe them all. It's crazy. Like, you have to make Springles have virtually no health if you want to balance it. Speaking of balance, that was pretty funny. I don't know why you need so much wood unless you're trading it all. There is so much wood on this fucking map, it's insane. Okay, and there's our little monk boy. Are we, are we missing anything? No. Really? You're a dick. You know what? We're gonna have some. We're gonna have some fun. There we go. We could use grenadiers to just destroy everything, but we won't. And yeah, these fire lances will lose. But we just need to do that. <laughs> we just need to do that and then we're good. Alright. Uh wait, we can't get cannons? We're out of stone. Ah. That's predicament. Let's buy some stone. Where's our market? There we go. Crap. And why the bloody hell do I have so Oh, I see. Uh, well, I guess we don't need gold. 
Fuck it, you know what? We'll risk it. Okay, it takes ages to get this. To, it takes ages for towers to upgrade. It's really annoying, but whatever. Alright, so I think it's Imperial Palace time. Ooh, hello. Fire Lance is this way. He's not... No, he's actually damaged that pretty badly. You, repair. Okay. We've got eight more minutes, but I'm sure this is annoying to watch, actually, so... Let's attack. Holy god, that's a lot. <gasps> Why are my monks always in the front? Why do they want to die in glorious combat? Yeah, snipers, fuck it. Alright, there. We had a mixture of pikes in there, and we actually lasted longer than last time. Alright, I'm gonna select literally every military building, and we're going for that. This might be a mistake, actually. Bombards are so excruciatingly slow. And cannon is. And that keep is fucking tanky, dude. Yeah, swarm them, damn it. And yes, I'm aware I have plenty of villagers in there. Ah, we don't have enough stone. Well, shit. No, not my fire lancers. Run! How many dudes do you want? Not gonna lie, it got kinda old a while ago. Man, my poor fire lancers. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that'll be fine. He's a fan of sending veteran rounds in. Let's see how quickly we can build this keep, shall we? There we go. This is so intense. But I'm not worried. Because look at the rate. China. And... Thanks very much. I wonder if they'll ever think of capping that. Your army, if you have a bombard in your army, it moves so excruciatingly slow. Alright, so we've pretty, pretty much won this game, so I hope you all learned something. Um, if you are trying to beat them, if you're trying to get your mastery and you're not quite sure how you want to do it, well, this is a good cheese. Um, it was a bit messier than usual because of just the layout, the, the, uh, the terrain I just happened to get, but uh, this is certainly doable. You need a decent defense in the beginning. But, uh, if you believe in your skills at kiting, then it should be fine. And is there anything more glorious than all these fucking siege? And when you zoom in, particularly with cav, if you zoom in, you really hear the tremble of the uh, cavalry. It's so cool. Yeah. Kill those guys. No peace, only war. Alright, so he's got three... Landmarks remaining. I think we'll just destroy him. That's not a landmark. I don't know what that is. That could be a landmark, you know. The town center is gone. That was one. This is two. What is this? No, it's a monastery again. I'm gonna guess it's. Uh, I'm guessing that's one.
Uh, no, no rebuilding for you, sir. Fuck you. No, I said no rebuilding. There we go. I also think it's a good tip to uh, be quick on those relics. I think it's a good tip to be quick on those relics, because as you saw... Um, they were quick to try and grab mine. I managed to stop them, thankfully. But that, that extra gold income is really useful. Okay, he's got one left. What is that? That looks like a marketplace. Oh no, I think it's the building behind it. Okay, he's dead. Is it this one? Technology building, that's university. What the f- Okay, there's too many houses. Burn them down. What is this? No. Maybe a builder will clue us in. Look how many he's got. Ah, the Burgrave Palace at the very back. Clever AI, clever. I think the Burgrave Palace is what allows him to build five units at a time. Alright, we are, we are mere moments away from Chinese mastery. And literally all we had to do was build a giant stone wall. It's almost like it's lore accurate. And not a single battering ram inside. How much siege do we have by the end of this? Only two bombards? We must have lost a bombard. I swear I made more than that. And sorry, Wonder. But that is GG, my friends. That is GG. I think. Did it not? Oh, no, it's burning. Fuck it. Final flurry, go! Beautiful. And that, my friends, is Chinese Mastery done. That is the hardest AI beaten. And it really wasn't that tough. And dare I say, it was entertaining. I hope you guys all enjoyed those flame lances, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this, I guess, walkthrough on how to cheese the hardest AI. Uh, stone walls are your friends, remember that? Let us look at the most important count. Ah, uh, you can see where the flame lance is struck. He was ahead of... We were ahead here... And then at age four, he just skyrockets. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoy it. And I will see you all next time with some more lovely content. Peace out. Goodbye.